A long time ago, a young man named Fika Fika watched the schools of needlefish jumping in the waves. He wondered how to capture this strange-shaped fish too fragile to be caught on a hook. He talked about it to his mother, Kawazi, but she was sorry not to be able to help her son. One day, however, the spirits came to her aid. Kawazi had a dream. Fika Fika had to search for palm leaves in the forest to make a wing that would fly like the sacred frigate bird. He also had to find a spider web as sticky as the gecko lizard to use as bait. Finally, he would need a thin vine tying together the sky, the earth, and the sea. Thus, the spirits guided and helped him to fish like the birds. Wapo is the traditional chief of the Aikawa, the oldest tribe on the island of Santa Catalina in the south of the Solomon Archipelago. Every year in June, when the Mawa, the kite wind blows, he goes fishing in the waves of the Pacific Ocean. Located 2,000 kilometers northeast of Australia, the remote, peaceful Solomon Islands added a dramatic page to history in August 1942. Although the terrible Battle of Guadalcanal reversed the course of the war in the Pacific, many Melanesians perished for having sided with the Americans against the Japanese invaders. Today, in the silence of the deep, only the wrecked ships bear witness to the period of iron and fire. Jay is Wapo's young nephew. He is 11 and only knows how to fish underwater, which he does every day with his friend, Gaspar. Since Jay is a descendant of Fika Fika through his mother, he has been designated, according to custom, to follow in Wapo's footsteps by embodying and perpetuating the legend of kite fishing.
The fishermen are only interested in the Molokensis spider. Its web is incredibly sticky and solid. Contrary to other species which secrete a round and flat web, it spins out a cubic shape. It places it underneath, mirroring its spotted stomach. Predators, therefore, are attracted, but never cross this silken barrier, and thus become the spider's prey. As Wapo collects the precious web, he is careful not to kill the insect and to only take a part of its new construction. Here, the spider is a very valuable ally.
A few days later, Wapo teaches Jay how to make the bait and the kite. The spider web that Jay has collected in the forest forms a long sheath, which Wapo delicately removes from the stick that was used to gather it. It is folded over and over to give it the appearance of a small animal, the kind that fish try to snap up. Putting the kite together requires a great deal of precision and takes almost all day. The leaves, already a bit dry, are sewn together with natural thread. Then they are assembled on a frame made of three plant stems. The Chinese invented the kite many centuries before Christ. From there, it spread throughout Southeast Asia and the entire Pacific region. Who flew the first kite and what did it look like, nobody really knows. But all those who have used it for magic, for war or for fishing, have their own version of the story. And each one has developed his own method for making it, giving every kite a different form. Here on Santa Catalina, the base of the kite with its small wings forms an M, symbolizing the wings of the legendary frigate bird. The following day, the weather is good. The mawa is blowing. Wapo takes Jay for his first kite fishing lesson. The old fisherman shows his pupil how to let the kite reach its flying altitude. The stronger the wind, the higher it flies. At the same time, he controls the line so that the bait is carried by the kite and skims the crest of the waves. If he lets it drag in the water, the fish won't be interested. Now, 
Then the fishermen row, taking care not to strengthen the wind so that the wing's height stays constant in order for the bait to cross the path of the needlefish. Suddenly, the kite spins around and loses altitude. A fish has just been captured. Thanks to his vast experience, Wapo brings the kite in before his catch drags it into the water.
Jay is beginning to master all the elements of kite fishing, Wapo is delighted. He is now sure that when he goes to join the spirits, Jay will become the new owner of the legend and will keep the custom alive. <laughs> 